does the color of a car affect how fast you drive? A psychologist, for example, might hypothesize that participants given a red car, as opposed to a blue or green car, may drive faster because seeing red can increase your heart rate and cause an adrenaline rush. But the purpose of this video is not to argue whether color would or would not cause somebody to drive faster, but rather to understand and break down the variables that make up a study, specifically the independent and dependent variables. So let's dive in. All right, so let's first understand the design of the study. A psychologist randomly assigns participants to four conditions, a red car, a blue car, a green car, and a white car. And each participant is told to drive around an empty racetrack 50 times and the average speed in miles per hour is recorded. So there's the design of our study. Now to identify the independent and dependent variable, let's first understand what we mean by variables. This is a term we hear in biology and physics and chemistry and of course psychology. But what does it actually mean? The reason we use the word variable is because there are things within a study that can vary. Very meaning change, right? Think about your life. Your mood can vary, right? One day you're happy, one day you're sad. The weather can vary. One day it's cold, one day it's hot. And what we want to know in a study is what are the things that have the potential to vary or change? Let's take a look at our question again. Does the color of a car affect how fast you drive? So what are the things within the study that can vary or change? Well, the color can, right? We have four different colors, red, blue, green, and yellow. And of course the speed, right? You could drive slow, you could drive fast. So those things become the variables. Now the question is, what is the independent and what is the dependent? Let's start with the independent variable. Now the first thing I want us to do before we dive into specifically what it is, is think about everything that could affect how fast you drive. All right, so think about at home. What are the things that could affect how fast you drive at home? Let's list a few of them. One of them might be the type of car you own, right? If you're driving a minivan versus a, a sports car, that could affect how fast you drive. Your mood, right, if you're happy, sad, angry, right, that could affect how fast you drive. Uh, the weather, as we said before, if it's snowy, if it's rainy, that could affect how fast you drive. Your age, right, if you are, you know, an experienced driver or you're a new driver, that could affect how fast you drive. Uh, if there's traffic on the road, right, you're going to drive slow, you're going to drive fast, you're going to weed through traffic. And we can go on and on and on, but these are some variables that it might affect how fast you drive. But let's go back to our question. Does the color of a car affect how fast you drive? So color is also a variable, okay? So all of these represent variables that could impact how fast somebody drives. But what do we want to know? We don't care about the weather. We don't care about your age. We don't care about the type of car. What do we care about? We care about the color, okay, and the color alone. And the reason we call this the independent variable, as I put my arrow up here, is because we need to make this variable independent or separate from the other variables, right? We gotta separate it. We can't have it along with the other ones. And that is why the independent variable would be the color of the car, right? And all these variables, what do you do, what do, you do with all those variables? Well, these variables have to remain constant. In other words, the only variable that can change in the whole study is the color. And everything else must remain unchanged. In other words, we have four conditions, red car, blue car, green car, white car. Every one of these variables other than color has to be exactly the same in every condition. In every condition, the weather has to be the same. Let's say it has to be sunny the whole time. Uh, the traffic, there's got to be no traffic, which is why I said an empty racetrack. The type of car. I can't have one person driving a minivan and another person driving a sports car, so the car has to be the same in all of those. Everything has to remain, remain the same and unchanged. So there we go, that is our independent variable. We often describe our independent variable a few ways. You might hear the expression that it is the, you know, what we manipulate, right? There's all these different expressions for our independent variable, what you manipulate, or possibly the treatment and we usually use the word treatment when we're discussing medication or pills in a study, okay? Or you could possibly say the cause, right? These are all different ways to explain what the independent variable is. It is the one that you manipulate. It is the one that you change. It is the one that is the cause or treatment and everything else must remain unchanged. 
All right, so what would be our dependent variable? Well, our dependent variable depends on the independent variable. So what does that mean? Let's break that down. What we want to know is how fast somebody's driving, right? We have to collect data from somewhere. We have to collect some sort of results and analyze. The dependent variable is the data and results that you collect to see if the color even makes a difference. So where are we collecting the data from? We're collecting the data from the speed at which people drive, which is why the speed in terms of miles per hour, per hour would be our dependent variable. So let's think about this in a sentence. The speed is dependent on the color of the car. So we have the color independent of the other variables and speed being dependent on the color. That's a nice way to think about it. So instead of, let's say, manipulate treatment and cause, we have things like the dependent variable we consider the results. That's a nice word that you might hear about the dependent variable or the outcome, okay? The results or outcome or what you measure. Or in this case, a nice memory technique would be this is the data, right? This is the data. So a nice way to remember it is think about D, dependent data, DD, dependent data. And instead of the cause, we have the effect, cause effect. So this is just a nice way to distinguish the dependent and independent variables. All right, so what if you actually wanted to see the results of the study, right? How do we know if the independent variable had some impact on the dependent variable? In this case, does the color of a car impact how fast somebody drives? Well, here's kind of a general rule of thumb. The independent variable will always be on our x-axis, okay? We'll graph this out. So we have our independent is our x. And our dependent would be on our, what would be the opposite? Our y-axis. So we have our independent, our x, and our dependent, the y. So we have our horizontal line, this would be our x-axis, and our vertical line would be our y-axis, right, colors and our speed. And let's just do some sort of hypothetical, right, bar graph. We have our, you know, red going up here, right, miles per hour, there's one, here's blue down here, here's green, and maybe here's white, right, something like this. And we can color code it, right, here's our red bar graph, here's our red condition, and here's our blue condition, and here's our green condition. Of course, white will stay white. And then what we want to know is, what was the average miles per hour? Well, we can just think about it, right? Red, maybe it was, you know, out of 50, you know, 50 circles around the track, maybe it was 38.2 miles per hour, right? And maybe blue was, you know, 10.5 miles per hour, and green was 13.6 miles per hour, and white maybe 15 0.5 miles per hour, right? And then you can actually conclude or make some inferences from those results. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Remember, the independent variable is a variable that you isolate and separate and keep independent from the other variables that you remain constant and unchanged. While the dependent variable depends on the independent variable. It's the numbers, right? It's the measurement. It's the data that you collect to see if the independent variable had any effect at all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe below. I'll see you next time.